In this video, we will solve word problems involving the angles of triangles. As we do, the key to remember will be that the angles of a triangle will always add to 180 degrees. Let's take a look at some examples where knowing this fact can help us find missing angles in the triangle. In this problem, we are given information about the three angles. Let's label them as first, second, and third. First, we are told that two angles of a triangle are the same measure. Let's make that the first and the second. We'll label them both as x, showing that they are both exactly the same measure. The third angle that we have is 30 degrees less than the first. We remember that subtraction is built backwards, so we're subtracting 30 from the first angle. The first angle is simply x, and now we've clearly identified and labeled the three angles of the triangle. We recall that if we were to add the angles together, their sum will always equal 180 degrees. Combining our like terms, which are already lined up, will give us 3x minus 30 equals 180. We now have a simple equation we can solve to find our x. Adding 30 to both sides gives us 3x equals 210. Finally, dividing both sides by 3 will give us x equals 70. Going back to our original labels, we can quickly find our three angles. The first angle is simply x, 70 degrees. The second angle also is simply x, 70 degrees. The third angle is x, or 70, minus 30. 70 minus 30 is 40 degrees. These are the three angles, where the first angle and the second are the same, and the third is 30 degrees less than the first. Let's try another example, where we use clues in the problem to find the three angles. Again, we will clearly label them as first, second, and third. Here, we are told that the second angle is twice the first angle. Currently, we know nothing about the first angle, so let's just call the first angle x. If the second angle is twice this, we multiply by 2 to get 2x. Continuing to read, we find the third angle is 30 degrees more than the second. 30 degrees more means we add 30, built backwards, to the second angle. The second angle was 2x. We know that we can add these together, and they should equal 180 degrees. Combining like terms, we end up with 5x plus 30 equals 180. Solving the equation, we subtract 30 from both sides. We now have 5x equals 150. Finally, to get the x alone, we divide both sides by 5 and find out x is equal to 30. x is what we labeled the first angle to be. x is 30 degrees. To find the second angle, which is 2x, we simply do 2 times our 30. 2 times 30 tells us the second angle is 60 degrees. Finally, to find the third, we plug it in to our expression 2x, or 2 times 30, plus 30. 2 times 30, we know is 60. Adding 30 more, we end up with 90. The triangle described is a 30-60-90 triangle, where the second angle is twice the first, and the third angle is 30 degrees more than the second. By clearly labeling and identifying our three angles, and knowing they add to 180, we can quickly solve a triangle problem. 